this is the derivation of the resistance reflection rule when I am located at the emitter side. So that means when I am at my emitter, which is here, I can find the equivalent resistance. So to do that, I'm going to take the current flow and do a current summation. So these are all of my currents. So this first one is going to be the voltage, which is one minus zero over RB plus R pi. This current flow down here is going to be the voltage here at the emitter, one over RE. And the current through here is a minus I test because it's coming in. And then I have, again, a minus from this current here. So I get a minus GMV pi is equal to zero. So there's my current summation. I make a note that GM can also be described as beta over R pi, which I'm going to use in a minute. And then I want to find an equation for V pi. V pi is going to be a negative of this current because of the polarity difference. These are opposite polarities. This is going to be a plus to a minus, and then this is plus to minus. So with that opposite, the current flow in that branch was one over R pi plus RB, and you get the negative sign there. And then you multiply it by R pi. I then am going to take I test and take it over to the other side. And then I have one over RE. And I have this quantity is located here. And then for the minus GMV pi, I'm going to plug in the beta over GM or beta over R pi. And so that is beta over R pi. And then I plugged in this quantity, which was R pi over R pi plus R B. I have a minus and a minus, and so those cancel to give me a plus. I then combine all of the rest of the quantities, and I end up with RTH, which is 1 over I test. And that looks like this. And now I note that this is a 1 over 1 over RE plus the R pi plus R B over beta plus 1, and that can be described as these two quantities in parallel. What that means is that whenever I have now the same configuration and I'm located at my emitter side, I can say, let me divide all of my base resistors by beta plus 1. And then essentially I can ignore this effect and I can take the equivalent pathways to ground while I'm located here at this node. So that gives me a pathway here and a pathway here. So that's where I get that our equivalent at the emitter side here would be RE in parallel with that RB plus R pi over beta plus one.